Okay, we are in part B um, of our video where we were working with this circuit and we had a voltage source and we were working with this super node here and we wanted to determine what are the nodal voltages V1, V2, and V3. And where we left off with the video was right here where we had two equations involving V2 and V3 right here and we see if we add these two equations together this is going to cancel and then here we will have 6V3 equals 39 so V3 equals 39 over 6 volts. So we have V3, better yet, let's write that down here. Plus 39 over 6 volts. Okay, and what about V2? Well, earlier we had determined, in fact, it was just looking at the diagram, that V2 plus 22 volts gets us up to V3. Which equals 39 over 6. So V2 equal 39 over 6 minus 22. So V2 comes out to be equal something like minus 93 over 6 volts. So V2 minus 93 over 6 volts. And what about V1? Well, we had these earlier equations here that involved V1, V2, and V3. Uh, we had one from node 1 and another one from the super node. We can pick any either one of them. Let's take this one. where V2 equals minus 93 over 6, V3 equals plus 39 over 6. So here we have minus 7 times V1, 4 times V2, that's minus 4 times 93 divided by 6, and here we have plus 9 times V3, plus 9 times 39 divided by 6 has to equal 28. So do the algebra and solve for V1, and I think you see that V1 equals minus 4.5 volts. So here, V1 is minus 4.5 volts. So in our original circuit, let's just make some room and compare real quick. In our original circuit we had a resistor here and here we were at nodal voltages of 1 volt, 2 volt, and 3 volts. Now we replace that with this voltage source and now we have negative four and a half volts minus 93 over six volts and plus 39 
over 6 volts. And again, the key to solving this is when we're setting this, when we're setting the problem up to solve for V1 and V2 and V3, we simply ignored this, pretend like there was just a conductor going across, and we just sort of fused node 1 and node 2 into what they call the super node, and we wrote the format equations um, at each end of the super node, just as we did in all the other previous videos. No new tricks there. And then when we did that, we had one single equation involving V2 and V3. We had another equation from node 1, and finally we had a third equation where we could say that V2 plus 22 equals V3, and from those three equations, we could solve for the three unknowns, V1, V2, and V3. So finally, that's the end of the problem. So I would, if it was a little bit lengthy, but hope it was worthwhile for you. Um, come back, join us um, in the next series of videos, and what we're going to do is, again, consider currents that have multiple sources in them, current sources and voltage sources, but they're simple enough that we can solve them using the superposition technique, and we'll do that in the next series of videos. So come back, um, join us for those videos, and we'll solve some more problems.